Hello everybody, Adam Wolf here with another video on modding the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Today is part two of script merging. Alright, so to pick up where I left off, uh, as you can see, everything on my on the right part of the screen it has been merged already. And these are the ones that cannot be merged. And as you can tell. It won't even let you select them to merge them, which is a good thing because they can't be merged. It would cause all kinds of problems. So I'm going to uh, unmerge one of the one of them that I've already merged, just so I can show you the process. R4 Player WS is the one I'm going to be unmerging. And you don't even get to see how it uh, unmerges it because it does it automatically. After it does that, then it goes through the process of uh, detecting all the, all the conflicts that are in the uh, scripts. And once that is done, then it will show up on the left part of the screen, uh, the R4 player WS. And there it is. Now, when um, you're merging and you've already done uh, your priorities, uh, the scripts that have uh, mods in there that are in a, a priority order, this right up here will turn purple to let you know that there is a mod that has a priority in it. And the one that is, uh, well, it's not really bold type. The one's black and the others are grayed out. But the one that is in the black uh, script is the one that is uh, prioritized, which will take, which will mean in this part, it takes priority over all the other ones, which is a good thing because we do want this uh, brothers in action in a higher priority than uh, Bessa Vissa, as I say, uh, said in, on when I was doing the priorities. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to merge the scripts. Now it's showing you that uh, which ones that it had done automatically, and you just keep on clicking OK or pressing Enter until it pops up letting you know that you have to manually uh, merge them together like this one coming up it'll give a little pause right before it, uh, it brings up the uh, kdiff3 program now there's a total of 30 conflicts in here 28 of it was done automatically so there's two that i have to that i have to merge together so i click ok all right, so this is already in the merged files. Over here is the vanilla script. And over here is the mod that just needs to be merged into the merged files. And it's the uh, uh, friendly HUD mod. This one is really simple. When you get ones like this, this is, this is what makes it great. When it's as simple as this. We need friendly e-friendly HUD mod to be merged in here. So, and when we look at this, I have the mod Monster Hunt Challenge. Let's let it know to begin and then when to end in the script, not in the game. Um, so, I look down here, the function enable PC mode is the same thing as this one. So there's no merging that needs to be done there. But I also, I also see this. You can save the variant monster hunt, monster hunt challenge. It's this right here that, uh, that's the same line. 
and look at this one right here. It's Monster Hunt Challenge M, and that's the one that's already in there. It's needing this first one. It needs one that begins, but we also need this as well. So in order to do that, if you get both of them, you will, you will click C. And there it is. It popped up right there. And then B, it puts it right below there. Because you need to have the monster hunt challenge begin and to match it with the end. Click on the triple down arrow, hit the next mod, uh, next conflicting. Okay, so we got Monster Extended HUD. And we have, uh, it's basically, this is the same thing as the one where it says begin and end. It, it just doesn't actually say begin. And again, if you look at the, this one right here that's in gray, it's already here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to click on C again. And then we'll click on B. And there, both of them are in there like it should be. And no more triple, triple down arrow to click. So that's the end of where it needs to be merged. You click on save and close that. Now let's go to the next one. There were 72, 71 of them was done automatically. And then there was one that I need to merge in. Okay, this one is uh, part of a Siri fix. And this one is doing the uh, ESGO. What we need to do is we need to pay attention to this little thing right here, this asterisk. That is the one that lets us know which one has to be put in first. This would be the one that would be put in first because we need this one below to finish this out. In certain instances, you cannot have something right in the middle of one that says begin and end that isn't already a part of it. And that, like I said, that's in some instances. In others, you, you will have to put them in the middle of something that says begin and end. But in order for this Siri fix to work, we need to put Siri first and then the ESGO. And then that's the only one, as you can see, there's no triple down arrow letting us know to go to the next one. This is the only one that was uh, needed to be fixed. So we'll click on save and close that. Okay, eight out of 12, nine out of 12, 10, 11, 12. The rest of them are already done automatically. Now during this process, it finishes closing up everything packaging it together. Now it's just detecting everything like it does before, like it did before. It will do that each and every time you finish uh, merging a file. It's going to basically double check itself. And there it is. No longer there because it's been merged. Um, the next one that I will do is I'm going to go for the one that is uh, meditation. With all these mods that I have, it takes a moment to find it because they are not in alphabetical order. Uh, it has its own way of doing it. Uh, I don't know uh, what way that is, but we know it's not. We know it's not alphabetically. All right, this is the one I want to choose, meditation.ws. So I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to unmerge it. And 
And there it is. It's on Mars now. Going through its check. After performing the action of unmerging it. Now it's opening up the KDF3 program. And there it is. So now I'm going to click on it so I can merge it. Okay, there was 26 of them, 25 was already done automatically, and then there's one that I have to do. All right, now here's one, here's a good one. Let me open this up a little bit more to the maximum allowed. Okay, so here we have a one that you have to do something uh, something different in order to get both of these to be in there. The little strip does not have these in there. This one is the, is the mod additional alchemy, and the other one is friendly meditation. So in order to get this to work, as you can see, I can't put this, in, I cannot put this inside of this. This one has to be uh, unbroken, so to speak. This, this chain of events that cannot be, can't have anything added inside of it. So in order to do that, as you can see, look, it's, it's down here. It's chosen C to let you know that it's, supposed to be in here and it matches this and of course this part matches what's all in the bottom so what I what in order to take care of this what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to left click and drag down to highlight them then I will press control plus C to copy. And I need to put this, let's go up to this one right up here. I'm gonna press enter. To give a line uh, to modify the line and now I'm going to press control plus V in order to paste it so now that is in where it needs to be it's outside of this now I can go ahead and go to the the one that uh, conflicts and now I can enter in this one, which would be pressing C. So I was able to do what needed to be done. We need to have this in here for additional alchemy to work. And we need this in there in order not to break the chain of events in scripting to, in, to merge with additional alchemy friendly meditation. That's the only one. We'll click save and then we'll close that out. And that was the only two that belonged for the meditation um, that had it a pro that had a problem. It's now being injected into the vanilla scripting. Now it's closing out the KDIF. KDIF is running, was running in the background. Okay, there's all those. For this part, I am going to go ahead and end part two here. I'm trying to keep them shorter so that way um, it makes it easier than trying to watch a 30 minute long video. Uh, so in the next one, I'm going to go into the 
uh, the non-bundled XML and the bundled text. So that way you can see which ones and how that works when you're uh, bundling the text. And the reason why I say that it is all perfectly all right, I, I have no problem with it uh, merging the bundled text. So anyway, uh, this is where I'm going to leave off at for part two. I will talk to you again in part three. Thank you for watching. And I will say good luck on the path.